Tom Brady and the Patriots, they're an anomaly. That It just doesn't happen that way, the way they've done it. So it's a missed opportunity for the Saints, and it's one that they're going to think about forever. And uh, in my tweet, I was, you know, I was, you know, pretty much uh, reiterating the fact that, you know, people always tell me, hey, get over the tuck rule. Well, listen, I played 18 years in the football league. Like, I got over the tuck rule, but I still think about the tuck rule. Like, it was a missed opportunity. The Saints are going to think about that play for the rest of their lives because it's a missed opportunity. And there were this one play, you know, that could have ended the game and got them to the Super Bowl. So it's, uh, you know, you hurt for the players because you know what, you know, playing the game, you know what you put into this game. You know, everybody looks at it and, and it's, oh, you guys are just playing the game. You know, it's fun. Ah, this game takes a toll on you, both physically and mentally. And you put a lot into getting to that point to get to the Super Bowl. And so to have a have an obvious play not called and it go against you and then it kind of wipes away an opportunity, they'll think about that forever. So I am mandated on behalf of New England fans everywhere, including the gentleman to my left who you know is a New England fan and also my wife. I turned my back to him. No, I understand you did. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. (laughs) The the difference is the tuck do you not believe the tuck rule was appropriately applied? as it was written in the rule book? I do not. I do not. I feel like... Here's here's an interesting thing about it, the way I think about it. Mm -hmm. So I watch the news a lot. You know, a lot of times you'll have, you know, two economists on on television, and they'll be talking about their economy. One will say the economy is doing great, Mm -hmm. and one will say it's in the tank. But you're like, oh, these are economists. They both have the same facts and figures, same numbers. How can they have differences of opinion, right? Two plus two is four, right? Mm -hmm. Two plus two is four? Yes. Correct. We're all in agreement. Right. So when you look at the missed call, if you ask 100% of Saints fans, 100% of uh, Rams fans, should it have been called, everybody would say yes. Yes. Two plus two is four. Mm -hmm. In our case, two plus two Mm-hmm. It's still four, but they added one. So two plus two equaled five. Why? Mm-hmm. Because they were able to add their own interpretation into it. So they took a play, two plus two is four, mm-hmm. a fumble. They added their own interpretation and made it into an uh, incomplete pass. Because so, they ruled it a fumble and came back and looked at it, he, he's just he in was, the process he was of able, bringing it down was, when you hit He was hit able him. to take the rule and justify why he overturned it. So if I, so if me and you were in a court of law mm-hmm. and you're arguing that his arm was going forward, mm-hmm. I would say, well, show me the part where his arm's going forward. You would show the tape. you see his arm going forward, and then you'd bring it back. And then i say, well, tell me, when did he fumble? Did he fumble while his arm was going forward? And you would have to tell me, uh, No. He brought it when he brought it back into his body. Hence the tuck rule, correct? Yes. Okay. So was he bringing it back into his body or was it into his body? So there's, there's, there's a technicality to it. Hey, look. So the, he's not, he wasn't bringing the ball back into his body. When I hit him, he had it, both hands on the ball. It's in his body. He ain't bringing it back into his body. It's a fumble. Two plus two is four unless you add one. See, and I, then it's five. See, I thought you meant two plus two is five because that's so many Super Bowls Tom Brady has won. Oh. I like that. I can dig it. Oh. I can dig it. I can dig it. I, I, I love the fact that he's won five Super Bowls. I'm happy, and I'm actually happy for him. This guy. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that, the fact that he, he's still here you know, is mind-blowing. Uh, I, <laughs> I love him. Um, you know, it's funny. Ty Law might go into the Hall of Fame. Yeah, and he it told should, me, should be. He told me a story about that night. Yeah, I, that we I saw put that on man. the air. I saw that man. Do you want to tell that story? I saw it, man. What I was, happened after that game when Ty Law sought you out, right? Oh man, and you know Ty is my that's, that's my I know guy, you're man. Michigan that's, guys. You that's go my back, guy, but right. you know we lose a game and everybody's pissed and uh, get on the team bus, leaving the game, getting ready to leave the game, and all of a sudden, guy comes up the stairs of the bus. Hey, Charlie, hey, Charlie, what's up, man? You ain't gonna holler at your boy? I'm like, 
What are you talking about, man? <laughs> oh, man, what? Well, you then, man. And he walks off the bus. I'm, I'm livid, man. I'm livid. I'm like, like that's my guy. But, man, I wanted, to, I wanted to throw hands with Ty, man. But he just, I mean, he rubbed it in my face, man. And, and uh, it, wasn't a, it wasn't a pretty sight. Well, I, he, didn't, I didn't appreciate it. He that. said that you always would seek each other out after a always, game. Always. And that you did not seek him out. So he was going to seek you out, despite the fact that it's the Raiders team boss after that game. This man had the audacity yes, man, <laughs> to leave his locker room and come on our bus after we got robbed. That yeah, that that took some you know what gumption. So, yeah, <laughs> took some gumption, yeah. audacity. Yeah, oh, I don't know my. if I'm still. I don't know if I'm over that either. The Rich Eisen Show weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.